Hey, what's up everybody? It's Vern and I'm back with another video. All right, if you haven't been here before, this is my review channel where I not only review equipment, but also use my 10 years in personal training to show you how to use it. Today, I'm gonna be showing you a versus video where I pit the Bowflex Select Tech 552s versus the Power Block Pro 50s. Now make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I got something important that you're gonna to wanna to hear before you decide to make a purchase on these adjustable dumbbells. But with no further ado, let's check them out. All right, let's start off with price. Now, I believe in balling on a budget when building a home gym, garage gym, or backyard gym. So my goal is to show you equipment that you can put affordably into your home personal gym and not have to buy things over and over again because you bought the wrong thing the first time. Now these Bowflex Select Tech 552s are gonna hit you for $399 on Amazon at the current time. The Power Block Pro 50s are $459. Now the Bowflex Select Tech 552s are $399 and they go up from 5 to 52.5 pounds. Now, the key to that is that they are not expandable. That, that 52.5 that you get in each handle, I'm showing you the singles, these come in a pair, but that 52.5 is it. You're gonna work with that for the rest of your time with the Bowflex Select Tech 552s. Now, the Power Block Pro 50s come in a stage one. Stage one means they go from five to 50 pounds. But if you buy stage two, you can then upgrade and expand this from 50 to 70 pounds. That's your stage two expansion kit. Now your stage three expansion kit will take you from 70 all the way up to 90 pounds, okay? That stage two kit is $150. The stage three kit is another $150. So in the end, you're looking at $759 to get a set of dumbbells that'll take you all the way from five to 90 pounds. And you can, you know, start with stage one, then move to stage two, then move to stage three as you get stronger. With the Bowflex Select Tech 552s, you won't ever be able to do that, okay? So, first, price. Now, let's talk about what they're made out of. The Bowflex Select Tech 552s are made out of a very heavy duty plastic, okay? The Power Block Pro 50s, metal. And some people will say that this plastic is a reason to not buy the Select Tech 552s. I disagree because if you watch my Bowflex Select Tech 552 review video, you'll see that I've been banging these around in the commercial gym for the last six or seven years with multiple clients. And when we brought these to the backyard and I started working out on concrete, we were doing things like renegade rows and everything that you could imagine with these dumbbells. I don't play around and treat them like little puppies. I treat them like dogs and we work with them hard. And if you take these into your working environment, you can feel comfortable knowing that you can get a great workout in with the Bowflex Select Tech 552s and not have to worry about them breaking as much. Yeah, I have seen videos where they break, but I've used them and I mean, I put them through the work as you can see in that video. If you go ahead and check out that video I did on the Bowflex Select Tech 552s. Now, let's talk about the metal and the Power Block Pro 50s. These are gonna give you a lot more peace of mind when you banging them against the ground because they're metal. But I've also seen times where this little piece has broken and you have to replace that. Now, replacing this little piece, which is how you change the weights, is a lot easier than if you bust one of these up and you have to replace one of these on the Bowflex Select 552s. But there's instances of where both it can break, all right? Plastic versus steel. Next, let's talk about the mechanisms that you use to actually change the weight on these two adjustable dumbbells. On the Select Tech 552s, you have a little dowel, okay? That dowel is on both sides of the dumbbell. 
Once you get the dumbbell to the desired weight, all you do is lift the dumbbell out and whatever is left in the base is the weights that you're not gonna use. And then once you get ready to adjust again, you dial it up. And now a different set of weights are left in the base. So with the Bowflex Select Tech 552s, you have a dial system to change the weight. And you're always gonna need this base because this base is gonna hold the weights that you're not using at any particular time. Now, with the Power Block Pro 50s, you basically have a number chart on the dumbbell base itself. When I say the dumbbell base, that's the handle without any weight in it. And you got a little chart that says 10 to 50. And it's got, it's got colors that correspond to the number. On the side here, you have those matching colors, all right? When you take the little lever and you push it in to the color that you desire and pull it out, it's gonna pull out whatever that matching number is, in this case, 25 pounds because we have the orange setting on. I slide it back in. I put it on the yellow setting. I look up here, the yellow settings says 35. I pull it out. Now I have 35 and the rest of the weights are on the floor. That's how you change the Power Block Pro 50s opposed to the Bowflex Select Tech 552s. All right. Now, when you got that base handle, you have a little lever here because the base by itself is five pounds. But this little lever, when pulled and pushed down, will release two, two and a half pound inserts, okay? Now, those little inserts, when they're out, that means that this handle is five pounds. If I put this handle in, that handle is gonna be seven and a half pounds. I can reinsert the weight and now whatever whenever I switch the weights I will be switching by five plus 2.5 pounds so I could go up to you know seven and a half uh 12 and a half 15 or I'm sorry 17.5 and so forth now if I insert both lock it in now I'm going to start off with a 10 pound handle and then I'll go into increments of five. Okay. So now I'm going, uh, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50 pounds. Okay. So you do have the option to go in increments of 2.5 on the power block pro fifties, just like the, Bowflex Select Tech 552s, okay? Next, a lot of times my clients don't really love the fact that adjustable dumbbells have a lot of width to them, okay? They're used to uh, a gym uh, dumbbell, which is, this is a eight pound dumbbell and that eight pound dumbbell is only like eight inches wide, right? Now, if I set the Bowflex Select Tech 552s at, in this case, 7.5 pounds, notice how wide that is opposed to this eight pound dumbbell, okay? But any adjustable dumbbell that you use, you're gonna, run into that issue because the dumbbell needs to be wide enough to hold whatever amount of weight you want to use, whether it be a little or a lot, because it's just a, the way a dumbbell, adjustable dumbbell works. But the Power Block Pro 50s are much more narrow at the same weight as the Bowflex Select Tech 552s. I'm going to go ahead and pop this out. I'm going to take this to 7.5 pounds. Now, look at the width of the Power Block Pro 50s and this dumbbell at 7.5 opposed to 
the bow flex, okay? Much, much, much wider, okay? And the bow flex by its design is always gonna be this wide, whether you're working with five or 52.5 pounds. Whereas the Power Block Pro 50 is gonna be much more narrow at those same weights. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this little guy. And now I'm gonna take this all the way up to 50. I mean, it doesn't even matter. I could leave it at five. This is the this is the Bowflex Select Tech 552s at five pounds. And this is the Power Block Pro 50s at 50 pounds okay so as you can see there is a trade-off and that trade-off is one that some of you guys will find um, hard to deal with because having the weight far outside of your body when you're doing things like curls and so forth can be a little uncomfortable with the Bowflex Select Tech 552s, and I think you'll find this a little bit more comfortable with the Power Block Pro 50s. All right, I asked you guys to stick around to the end of the video because I had something important to talk to you about concerning these two sets of dumbbells. Now, I wanted to keep this comparison as neutral as possible because I do enjoy both sets of these dumbbells. But there's one thing that I absolutely have to bring up for anybody looking to purchase the Bowflex Select Tech 552s. And that is the fact that these lock up. Now let me talk to you about exactly what I mean by that. Sometimes, even though this dial, man, that sound, I love that sound. And that is a smooth part of these dumbbells. But every now and then, if these are turned just ever so slightly off, you're in the middle of your workout and these are a little off and you go to pull that weight out the base, the whole base is going to come up. It happens a little bit more frequently than you're going to want it to happen, but it happens at times. And if you're in the middle of your set, man, and you like really feeling good and that, you know, you got both of those 50s up on the bench and you or you got one of those 50s up on the bench and you go to pull the other one off and that happens and you, it interrupts your workout, it's frustrating. Now, sometimes the fix is only a slight change of the dial and it comes off. But other times, if you, you know, jam that weight down into that base and you go to pull this off, you can't get it off. The dials will lock. And when you go to turn the dials, you can't turn the dials. When that happens, there's a procedure that Bowflex shows you in a video that I'll link in the description of how you have to hit a little lever and you have to disengage all the weights. And basically, you have to take about a good five, 10 minutes to get the, all the plates off and back into the base to reassert the handle and then continue your workout. It's a big deal. It is um, not a deal breaker, but it's close to it if it happens a lot. When I first got these, it happened a little bit more often than it happens now, but even in that Bowflex Select Tech 552 video that I did a few months ago, it happens right live during the workout, and you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So make sure you check out if, if, that out if you're considering these two dumbbells. And like I said, it's not a deal breaker, but it's an issue. All right, to wrap it all up, I truly love both sets of these dumbbells, y'all. These Select Tech 552s came to me as a gift when I was a new trainer, and they have meant the world to me because they helped me out immensely. So I'm super grateful to have them. Um, aside from the fact that that adjusting mechanism locks up from time to time, and they won't expand over 52.5 pounds, I have nothing bad to say about them. They have been amazing for me. The PowerBlock Pro 50s are just an upgrade. 
because I'm stronger than 52.5 pounds. So the fact that these can go to 70 and then to 90 pounds is important to me. And if I was to buy these for the first time for myself, I would have leaned towards the PowerBlock Pro 50s simply because they uh, have a longer life because I know that most people are going to outgrow 52.5 pounds. I mean, if you're doing legs, you're going to outgrow them instantly. But if you're serious about working out, you're going to need more than 52.5 pounds for some exercises at some point. So if I was to pick between the two, I would go with the PowerBlock Pro 50s. Hey, y'all, I hope y'all enjoy what I had to give you today. Um, if you like what I did, please hit the like sign. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and hit the bell and just continue to come check out my videos because I'm trying to put them together and hopes that you'll like them and join my community. I love and appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me. Love and peace, everybody. Out.